so many miss the first step of setting the wrong expectations of having the wrong expectations. And if you have the wrong expectations, then number one, how do you know that, how do you know that you didn't actually do what was supposed to be done or didn't actually accomplish what needed to be accomplished if the expectations are off. But you know, number two, you can only inspect what you expect, but not all expectations are created equally. How do you manage expectations of yourself and of others? Um, I think the interesting aspect of that question is with others. And I think a big, you know, uh, teaching point is you can't expect the same from others that you expect from yourself, period. That you're two different people, two different skill sets, two different, you know, context and frame of reference with what it is that both people are doing. But I think um, expectations are always best if they are fully explained on the front end. You know, you, you can't, I can't expect something of you that you didn't know existed. <laughs> like if I had an expectation that you were gonna do 10 videos today, but you thought you were gonna do one video today, and I get like upset because 10 videos aren't done, you're like, well, I didn't even know 10 videos are even like thought of being, you're like, yeah. that's a simple, stupid example. But I think a lot of people, that is a reality in the way they lead and manage people is they have all these expectations inside of what other people are supposed to be doing that they don't even that they're not even aware of outside of just what time they're supposed to show up what time they're supposed to leave like their mindsets and the way they interact and the way they complete the projects and you know the timing of different things like unless you lay all the expectations out on the front end you really don't have any right to be upset when those expectations aren't um, met yeah. Because how is someone supposed to meet an expectation that they didn't know existed? Uh, so I think that's a that's a big part of it from a management and leadership uh, standpoint. But you know, managing expectations with yourself honestly is the same thing. Like when you have a task, a project, a goal, whatever, something that needs to be done, is getting clear with yourself like what your expectations are, and you know that enables you to have that feeling of progress of knowing that, okay, here's my expectation for what I need to get done today. And at the end of the day, you know if you did it or not. And you know whether you should be upset with yourself for not having met your expectation. But a lot of people, just like they don't go through that process with other people, they don't go through it with themselves. They don't, you know, the night before, hopefully, here's the things that I gotta get done tomorrow and here's what I gotta do in order to do them. And so when tomorrow happens, you know, they may get upset because things didn't get done, but they didn't really, even like plan out how they're going to get it done. And so I think a lot of it is very much in parallel with what you expect from others the same way you have to treat it with yourself. Uh, but when expectations aren't met, I think there has to be a conversation either with yourself uh, or with the other person that didn't meet it uh, very quickly and up front so that it doesn't happen again. I think so much there's like, again, people taking themselves and taking situations so seriously um, that they just like keep pushing forward or they get like angry, but they don't like talking about it. And all of a sudden it happens again. Like, well, of course it's happened again because you didn't talk about it one last time. The expectation wasn't that. And so, so much, um, relational things within, you know, a business environment, uh, can be solved just by confronting what an expectation is saying like, hey, here's how I thought that should have been done. It wasn't done that way, so let's talk about it. Was there an issue? Did you not know? Did I not explain it you know, well enough on the front end? Um, what could I have done better um, to set that expectation? And then working from there, and then everyone knows what's going on. Everyone knows you know, where they stand. Everyone knows what they're supposed to do. Um, so much can happen when things are just kind of pushed under the rug or just for the sake of there being so many things going on that they don't really take the time to pause and reflect on, okay, hey, this happened, wasn't really the way I wanted it to happen, so let's talk about it so that it doesn't happen again. I just think that all of a sudden, like next time is gonna get better or change or be different. Um, I think it's it all boils down to communication with expectations.